My son works. Not anymore. I sold all the dogs, man. So shout out to yeah. everybody who got a puppy over Jay here. Fox got it. He, he bought the last two yeah, dogs. Jamie, Wait, which dogs were those? I took so I, I took I took two of the dogs at the Fox. For him to house. buy one. I I really didn't think he was gonna buy them. I just uh-huh. I would just take them up there so they can just kind of run around his big old house. Yeah. And as soon as I w- walked in the kitchen, he seen the white one. They were both Merle, so it was either a white one and a chocolate Merle. And he, oh, and he was just like, okay. he wanted the white one. And then mm-hmm. he uh, he called Justin. And mm-hmm. Justin was like, dude, just get both of them. What do you mean? Yeah. So he just he bought both of them on the spot. So Nice. Dog's gone. All the puppies uh, are gone, man. And then the other one went to. Uh, wait a minute. Uh-huh. That means you got some change. Uh, you know, I broke up that deal for you, son. Actually, Justin did to be. No, no, no. No, no, uh-oh. no. No, let's, no <laughs> Nick. Hold on. <laughs> I called you and said, hey, Nick, you want to take the dogs up there? That's fine. Mm-hmm. But on a Saturday. That's fine. No one did you don't answer your phone on Saturday. That's fine. But or the weekend. Justin. And, and then I waited. Justin. Uh-huh. I waited on the side of the road for my son. Justin sealed it. Oh. Justin got on the phone and said, go ahead and do your thing, man. Go ahead. He said, I just talked to him last night about it. So, you know what I'm saying? So, I don't get nothing in the cash app? Why well, everybody want something? Dang. <laughs> Well, I didn't say that when you did it. <laughs> but I, I thought you were going to come by. I thought my son was going to come by and go, take it, Dad. Dad put Dad, something Dad, in my hand. Dad. Get that <laughs> wing stop. <laughs> that nigga walked out the door with a pocket full of money. I was like, I did like this. Bye, Nick. No, you, you know, you hit, you say yeah. bye, and it, it might trigger them to go, oh, let me go take care of Pop. Pe- people, uh, listen, man. People don't so understand. Good. No, That's so, good. Nick, I, I was going to babysit joking. one, too. I'm actually joking. People don't understand what business, though. A lot of times. I'm actually joking. I wasn't talking about you, though, Pop. But it's just a business But I'm joking. A lot of times yeah. you start a business, the, the downside of it uh-huh. is you don't make money, which is the down part of it. Mm-hmm. So, like, even after I sold all the dogs, like, I didn't even break even. Now, you know did you end so up keeping one? Or I still have one the of the Ray girls. Jay? I have, a, I have no, the, that one went to um, my my wife's uh, sister. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. And she just, had, oh. she, she just had a new baby, so. Okay. They, they ended up buying that one. Fox bought the other two. When, which one did you guys end up keeping? Uh, the girl, Lil' Kim. Uh, oh, yeah, Lil' Kim. Yeah, Aww. so I think I would breed her or Trina with Justin's dog, who has a blue Frenchie. Okay. So the Frenchie's about to be famous. Justin's going to take him on tour. <laughs> so if you Uh-oh. guys want to get in on these famous Frenchies, man, that's what I think I'm going to call my, my kennel. Famous, famous Frenchies. Frenchies. See, I was yeah. thinking of a name all day. <laughs> there you go. Right I'm going to write it down. Seal the deal. So, Pop, I so Pop so, look, if, if you want a dog next mm-hmm. time around, I got you. No, I need Double the money. <laughs> well, I, can, I I break out some some cheddar. That's easier for me then. Yeah. Yes, oh, there you go. That's fun. That's no problem <laughs> then. Look, a little lookout money. Yeah. Good, some good looking, yeah, out, some good looking out money. No. Good looking look. No problem. <laughs> so so I come. No, I come in. He all sad. I said, "What's up, Nick?" Man, all dogs are gone. Aww. Yeah, it was kind of like it's cool, but like all my dogs, like all Aww. my dogs are gone. So I'm like, what the hell? He's yeah, back to so a regular house now. Like, oh. yeah, which is cool oh. though, because I'm gonna take this weekend to clean it from top to bottom. I can't wait, so I'm excited. Oh, I got, have somebody good. come. No, nah, I want to. You it. got money? I want to. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I need to scrub it myself. I need to get in the crack. That's what crack. they do. No, they yeah. get up in there. Some I need cleaners. To do it. I, Michelle had a friend. She was a crackhead. Mm-hmm. Michelle had a friend, <laughs> but this bitch could clean. <laughs> Nick, Nick, you understand? Like she, she cleaned, cleaned places out. I didn't even know was there. She's like, I yeah. got in between there. I'm like, goddamn crackheads. That motherfuckers are good because they need money. Mm-hmm. And but she she just could clean, and she mm-hmm. would, she would always come over and, and stay. And we leave, come back, and the whole house be sparkling clean, dishes washed, put nice. away, counter wiped off. I was like, goddamn, that bitch could stay. Every little crack. But we had That's a camera hilarious. on just in case. <laughs> you gotta watch him. <laughs> gotta watch, yeah. Turn you your never goddamn know. camera on. You never fucking know. Start going through stuff. <laughs> it is my bad Monday. Yeah. What happened to you, Alute Mama? It Over was my bad this weekend. <laughs> so I decided yes, to go hike. Oh my bad. <laughs> and it was hot as hell. <sighs> and I literally got sick, like heat exhaustion. So <laughs> I'm glad you brought so that funny, up. funny, but it was hot as so, hell. So what I come, I drove. Remember, I rode uh-huh. the bike Wednesday. Uh huh. So when I got home, I didn't know that's what happened to me because my legs were aching. Oh, yeah. And and I'm like, what the fuck? Is, and I've never had that. So I didn't know what it was. Yeah, it was soft. What the fuck? That is not soft. So my legs were aching. My body was aching. Uh-huh. And I, t- I said, fuck, I got to walk around. And I tried to walk. I couldn't. Oh, and then we read it up. It was it was heat exhaust. Yeah. That I didn't drink enough liquids. And so. That's how it was. I didn't when I hiked. So So how far did you get before you shut it down? I made it all the way. Then I go, damn, how am I going to get back? 
I okay, can't we're back. And then and then you know you start looking around at all the other hikers. They're like the same. Like, damn, it got me too. Like, did you have <laughs> I water wasn't with the you? Only one. Yeah, I had water, but obviously it wasn't. Where'd you go water. to? Um... I did Runyon. Runyon so Canyon. so. It, so you go it, all man, the way, you do it, and then God, you look around man. like, how am I going to get back? Here's to the, the coast side? about Runyon. Shit. So you went down or you went up? And uh, then back down. I start down, so I go up, and then I have to go. So back you go down. up to the top. Yeah. Of the of the what's called, and then come back down. Yeah. Nah, I, I usually like, go yeah. down. I you was go all the way down to that one fence. And I get to the fence. I turned around and went, "Fuck!" Damn. The only way back yeah. is the walk. Yep. And you was it was a hundred and. And it was because <laughs> you Where'd know you when you start to... out, when I started out, I was like, "Oh, okay, I could do this," you know. <laughs> then all do of a sudden, the the, the, <laughs> do do, do do, the music, everything. Then yeah. all of a sudden, the degrees start going up. You get there, you're like, "Oh and shit!" That sound like, was. Bake. Can't breathe. So I was like, I bring a speaker. I don't wear it buds. I got. Oh, this. Yeah. I'm playing my shit live. I, I got buds. a fucking speaker. Dogs all. People had their dogs, and I'm thinking, oh my god, them dogs were passing. So, dogs. so at what point did you go? I know I'm not gonna make this. <laughs> when I was I had to look back to go back, I was like, <laughs> damn, this is gonna be the hardest hike back ever. But you're going downhill. <laughs> yeah. So but it was still, different. It was just hot. No, like, I see. I'm going I uphill like, for that. So I go down. No yeah, problem. I did opposite. I was like, man. Nigga, when you go up that motherfucker. <laughs> Good thing I didn't sweating. do the stairs. You know how they have the little stairs? I never they do have, the stairs. Oh, they have another no. another trail. It, which I, it's on this stairs. side, right? It goes up that way, yeah. You ever did that, Run Your Nick? What? what? <laughs> no. Man. You don't go hike? Why would I do that? You don't go hike, Nick? You can take Come the dog. Take the dogs. Those are not hiking dogs. <laughs> oh, that's not. Nah, they wouldn't have made it. <laughs> they to the corner and back dogs. Yeah, I, <laughs> yeah, they wouldn't make it. I tried it. to walk Trina from my, you know because I live from, yeah. from my house to here. No, she stopped in the, at the mall parking lot. Like stop. She's like, oh, nigga, wow. it's a wrap. I had to carry her from the mall all the way here. Oh, I was like, dang. yeah, I'm not doing that no more. They got about that's a good a mile in them, and that's it. Yeah, not, not she both ways. shut down. Not both ways. <laughs> shut down, like shut it down. I don't care what you doing. Yeah, she like, nah, I'm chilling. <laughs> and they just thought they, she'd just stop and just lay there like hey I'm chilling talk who down <laughs> yeah little dogs are like that yeah and then I get back up but no I don't I don't I'm not into all the uh, hiking and all like it's uh-huh. cool but I used to live in Palmdale like I've seen mountain lions on hikes before so mm-hmm. you know I'm cool I'm not like trying to slide that. off no mountain I'm not trying to I don't like so you ever had that what? That, what uh, have had? you ever had heat exhaustion or dehydration yeah I worked out with. It's, I don't work out with female trainers either oh. Oh. that's another rule I have so I don't I used mm-hmm. to work in the gym, so you can call me sexist if you want. So you I work care. out with dudes. Dude. I don't have a trainer. I've never had a trainer. It's not what mm-hmm. I have. But if I had to have a trainer, I would get a, a male trainer for sure. Cause Why? Because they're, mm-hmm. they're not gonna have ego. Like training you, like they're not gonna yeah. have ego. Oh, and she when, had ego. She had yeah, an ego most women you? trainers when they train men, especially male athletes. Mm-hmm. At the time, I was training to play basketball, mm-hmm. and so like that, they just have an ego in general, which is cool. Mm-hmm. I don't mind it, but it's a safety thing with me. Like I don't need your ego in place, and you trying to push me to a limit to mm-hmm. prove something. And then somebody pass mm-hmm. out. Like, that don't make no sense. So you passed out so on So, like, that? nah, she was just doing, like, <laughs> I was just, so I was overheating, and I <laughs> knew it. So you, I, said, I need water. <laughs> no, I knew it, and I was like, I was like, yo, I'm finna chill. She's like, no, just do two more. I was like, yo, uh-huh. uh, no, I'm finna chill. She was like, no, I need you to do, I was like, hey, back up off you, man. So, and I oh, worked with funny. her, and I was like, yo, just back up. And mm-hmm. I just went and sat down. I had to go sit up against the towel. Because, I, like, I've, I've had to um, use a defibrillator on people at gyms. Oh, dang. Yeah, so I've had people pass out in front uh-huh. of me. I've had, to, like, all kind of stuff. So I don't play when people start telling you, like, hey, I don't feel good. Mm. Like, I don't dismiss it. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? So I knew what was happening. I was like, okay, I'm getting lightheaded. Mm-hmm. And I was like, my, you know, my vision started to shut a little bit. I'm like, okay, mm-hmm. I'm getting heat well, exhaustion. Well, that didn't happen to me. I just got cramps. No, I was getting heat exhaustion for real. Like, I felt my body about to shut down. Yeah, that's oh. how I was. And she kept trying to tell me two more. And I was like, like yo, shut it. Dehydration. No more. So you but made I it, apparently. Uh, yeah, I made it. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> I got home, took a shower, and I was like, man, I'm dead. I'm not going nowhere. I had a liquid That's up. That's scary because I never felt that kind of ache in my muscles. I, I like, used to get that in Phoenix, that? like, really? but it was more so um, heat strokes. Oh, shit. So it was a little different, I but yeah. I was like, dang. Skinny Cuz said you he used like? to get it from the carts. Last week when he tried, he got home. Oh, so, okay. From the carts. From the when he was outside getting the carts. Oh, <laughs> no, I went by there. Was it Friday? Uh huh. It wasn't no carts. I said, and I seen him. I said, "What you doing? I gotta go out here and get the carts." Yeah, it ain't no. It was no carts at the He Rouse. was having heat. 
<laughs> yeah, heat exhaustion. It was too hot. <laughs> it was what was it? One. It was one nine. Yeah. We got a phone call. Poor skinny guys. Say that, Nick. Caller, what's your name? Where you calling from? Hey, caller. What's up, everybody? Bernie hey, Burn. What you they do this weekend? That was your bad. They tried that shit with me, and it was never gonna happen. Where is where they try? Take you walking? No. At work. Shut up, Speedy. At work. <laughs> when I used to work at the post office. These you worked at the, the post office? The fuck I out of here. That. You never told these us that. Oh, wow. Vern, you never well, told you us know that. No, now. Shut up. Let me finish. Hold on, Vern. These motherfuckers. What, you, you was a deliverer? What you deliver the no, mail? No. I what? worked at the main post office, the main distribution center. Mm. Like putting the mail in, in, the, in the box? Going out to people's houses? Yeah, exactly. Oh, no, okay. this is how this is how this is what I did. Uh-huh. You so separate you the mail. Uh-huh. Hey, no, burn, burn, burn it. Burn it. Burn it. Burn it. What did you do at the post office? <laughs> Nick wants to hear if this. I, if you guys let me explain it, I can tell you. I heard you was a stamp licker. <laughs> <laughs> well, whoever <laughs> told you that is a damn lie. I, I heard you just held your tongue out. Nigga. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, Bernie. Uh, more or less, I'm sorry, more or less when, when yes. the mail comes from out of, from, from across the country and it comes from out of, out of the country or whatever, uh-huh. it comes to the main distribution office. What you to hold where? So, Dis- the main... Distribution, distribution office. office. Gotcha. And what you do? Hold it up to the light. Nigga, be like, you gonna quit? You gonna quit trying to snipe me, Nick? <laughs> All right, go ahead, Vernon. Yeah, 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 yeah. What you do? I can't so believe Vernon worked at the that... post office, nigga. You didn't shoot nobody. <laughs> Cause you have that temperament. Yeah, you let me down, Vernon. Should have killed somebody over there. Go ahead, Vernon. What you do? <laughs> they were trying. They were trying to kill us. I tell you that shit. Yeah, I believe it. I would have believed it. On uh, Chicago News this evening at the post office, Vernon. So what'd you do? What'd you killed do there, five employees. <laughs> These motherfuckers, at, at one point, the mail was coming in heavy. So every, so uh-huh. when the mail come in heavy like that, everybody has to do overtime. There's no there's no talking about it. Got it. Vernon, what does that mean, heavy? That's like holiday season or something? Uh-huh. Yeah, okay. it's holiday. When holiday come in, ain't no, ain't, uh-uh. Right. You doing, a lot of times people do 14 straight. 14 straight with 12. 14 straight hours. Oh, wow. 14, no, 14 straight days uh-huh. oh, for shit. Uh, 12 hours a day. Mm. Mm. Why would you do that? Because yeah, he working, Nick. Yeah. Good job. You kind of, you kind of, it's, it's like in a way you kind of have to. You don't have to do 12. You could do 10, but mm-hmm. you don't have to do 12 because the way they had it set up is that you could do two in the front, you could do your shift, and then two in the back. Somebody said you work at the bulk mail room. But mail whoever <laughs> whoever said that, I'm gonna tell them this. Take an axe and hit yourself in the face with it. But right. anyway, what did you so what, did, so what did you do there, Vernon? Yeah, what was your actual yeah. job title? Damn, if I I was trying to tell y'all five minutes ago, but oh, y'all keep oh, interrupting sorry. me, Thomas. So I didn't know y'all worked at the post office. I didn't know oh, you, you worked, worked at the post did, office. Did this? You 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 sound what like a post. Did. What did you do? Because what we did was, <laughs> is that we broke, Who did we broke the mail down into area codes, and we put them in, uh, we put them in boxes for them to be shipped out to neighborhood, for them to be shipped out to the neighborhoods. How did you get that job? Mm. Yeah. Doesn't matter, Speedy. Don't they do a psych test? How'd you no. Lose, how'd you lose a job? That's a good job. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, ain't nobody, ain't nobody lose. I didn't lose the job. Oh. I retired from oh, the job. Shut up. Oh, okay. Congratulations. You Bernie. did 30? Yeah, nice. You did 30 years. He only 40? I ain't do no 30 speedy. To retire, wasn't it 30 no, or 30. 25? Well, I retired. I'm going to put it like that. Oh, oh I get it. I retired. He was, he was fired. Okay. It's either fired or retired. I there, there you go. That's what's up, I didn't, nice I didn't get fired. Yeah, because you retired. These up. motherfuckers, it was a hundred, it'd be a hundred, let's say it's like a hundred and two <laughs> in the, in the post. If it's a hundred and four outside, it's like a hundred and twelve inside. Oh, it's, yeah, it's hot. Vernon, they said you put the tape on the box. <laughs> Shh. You know, really, Shh. Speedy. That's funny. I don't give a fuck, Vernon. That's funny as yeah. fuck, man. Anyway, they told Somebody said Vernon had, had a job. <laughs> we had to do ten. I said, I'm not doing ten hours. They wanted us to do 10 hours for 14 days. I'm not doing 10 hours for 14 days. I think keep turning the box. Ain't no 112 degree heat. Ain't no fucking way in the world I'm doing that. Yeah, it's too hot. So I so I said I'm not doing it, and they, and they got mad at me. I don't give a fuck. So somebody, this other girl, she did, and she Nigga, passed out in the middle of the, she bird, passed out in the floor. I don't know why you're Damn. talking. I'm still tripping. You worked at the post office. Wait. <laughs> 
Now, Vernon, because you was in the uh, in the sorting room, did you still have to wear the blue shirts in the eagle? No, that's for that's for the, uh, the that's for other people. that's for the, uh, yeah that's for delivery people now, so you can know who they are. Now, do, oh, do y'all okay. have do y'all rotate positions or like once you get good at something that's where they stay? That's where you at. Yeah. Uh, it depends. You can you can uh be hired. I mean, you can uh, uh be um, promoted within if you want to, but most people want to just do that little do that thing and go home because it's it's very easy to do. So uh-huh. so what's the worst thing you saw at the post office? Yeah. Somebody Motherfuckers delivered. stealing. Everybody stealing. Out of the packages? Yes. Oh, wow. What's the easiest thing to steal at the post office? Mm-hmm. A letter. I mean, that's, that's, but see, nobody Stamps. wants to steal letters because 90% of those letters, if you steal a letter, you fuck around, you can get caught doing that bullshit. Oh. Mm. So what's that? Because what? a lot of those letters are registered and you have, and they have to, and they have to be at a certain place at a certain time. If they're not there, they're like, well, it came through here. Somebody over here got that shit. And there's cameras everywhere too. Oh, okay, like a bank. Well, not like no, not as secure as a bank, but so what's like, what, yeah. what was something that would get stolen a lot from a post office? Yeah, packages. Like what? Would y'all shake them first? Like how would you know? Would you just take a package based on the size? People, and people would go. People would get a package. They kick it over to the particular <laughs> to the particular area where ain't nobody looking. They cut it open and they take whatever's in there. But they did this had a they just go by a feeling like I think something in this. Yeah. No, they sh- they know what's in it. Oh shit. Because they, cause, cause let's say you ordered uh movies or something. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. They can shake it and it's like they didn't got professional about shaking the shit. They can shake and tell. Yeah, you and I'm like, you motherfuckers here. Figure it out. Lift the box and be like, oh, this ain't So how far did you get? Dude. Like manage were you a manager or close to it? Uh-uh. Yeah. No, 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 no. Because you know the what? Truck? My my particular thing on being a manager and, and working and being like manager and all this other shit, all that is is glorified babysitting. Mm. Because there's a particular right. there's a particular number that you have to hit that they I didn't know, but I was told by a manager that you have to hit per day. And if they don't hit that number, the manager's got to hear the bullshit. A number of what? A number of packages? Yeah, a number of a number of um what did they call that? Fleets Mail? that gotta go out. Oh, okay. Mm. It, it's 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 like big ass crates. It's it's big ass crates. It's a number of crates that gotta go out oh, per so day. Your team gotta get mm. so so time. Vern, was that your first job out of high school? Definitely. Yep. So you go straight from high school to like, post office. Mm-hmm. Don't ever do oh, that. Like Don't that. you mm-hmm. ever I see you answer. Didn't like that job. <laughs> mm-hmm. And, and, like and you're on your that, stomach. That, <laughs> they're, hi- they're hiking. I can. I mean that that's crazy. We and uh, you can yeah. And it's, it's hard. And and now you have to have a particular kind oh, of water. You just can't have regular water with you yeah. when you go hiking. Spaticular you have to have water the water with the the carbohydrates right and the, the electrolytes. electrolytes and all that other good shit yep. in it too. Yeah, or Gatorade. I didn't have the right water. What happened to people just drinking? People used to drink river water and survive. We all need no uh, electrolytes. There was no uh, river over there. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know uh, you drink, uh, th- there's, there's all kind of contaminants in that water now. You can't do that now like you used to do. Yeah. You'd be all right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, all right. All right, Vern. Right. I didn't know Jimmy. you had a job. I did yeah. not know somebody employed you. I'm just so amazed. Thank you, brother. Wait, what the Thanks, hell am I supposed to mean? I'll tell you in one minute. Thank you, Vern. Uh, <laughs> Shout out to the post office giving everybody a chance. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they, they hired Vern. I can Vern. see that, though. I can see Vern. Yeah, they don't do it. Nigga, have we, we ain't met Vern, but we met Vern. No, can you imagine this, though? Yeah. I, I go to the post office, right? And I'll, anytime I go in places, I always wonder, like, what kind of people work here? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't know why, but I always thinking, like, what kind of people want to work in this place? Mm-hmm. Post office seems like you want to be left alone. Oh, yeah. Because, like, if you don't look, if you you look at, like, the little back the thing, you'll yeah. see, like, a lot of people back there got headphones on. Yeah. There's a lot of individual stuff. Ain't, ain't a lot of group activity. Mm-hmm. So I can imagine... Them people don't want to be bothered. Call what's, what's, hey, call it. Nakia. God oh. damn. Hey, what are you hey. Are you on a big wheel, hey, Nakia? Nakia? Yeah, get off the bus. Uh. Look, first of all, I'm in my car with the air conditioning on because it's too motherfucking hot. You got yeah, uh, the yes. Nikki. Keep that AC on. <laughs> are you in yeah. the air conditioner? Oh, God damn. Yes. I got the air conditioner pushing right at me because it's too motherfucking hot. Yeah. Or, or. <laughs> Let the car cool down first when you get in. <laughs> no, it's hot. <laughs> or what? <laughs> or what? <laughs> What's up, Nikia? Or Nikia, you, Nikia. Nikia, you work at a uh, post office? I feel like Nikia worked at a bank. What was your first job? Yeah. No, Nikia, no, Nikia worked 
for she's an admin assistant for no. a medical center. No, what was your first what, job? Your first job. Oh, my first job. I yeah. used to work for um, Bear Aspirin. Hilarious. For who? I was in the I was in the production area in the no. plasma department. So you're the one to put the pills in the bottle, in the cotton. <laughs> No. They always try to make their job. Yeah. <laughs> I, worked at, no I didn't work at, I, so basically, I worked mm -hmm. for the company there. You put the cotton I worked in at the their biotech. Uh -huh. Now, I worked at their biotech facility in Berkeley. So, I was a QA person. I used to go around testing the samples of the water for the products that they we made used you to sip make. dirty water. Nakia, <laughs> sip this. <laughs> <laughs> you look like you need some water. Yeah. Come in. <laughs> she all right, y'all. <laughs> but anyway, I, where I worked at, we made the we made the drugs for um, hemophiliacs. For who? Hemophiliacs. Hemophiliacs, people uh, who who don't who blood doesn't clot. Mm -hmm. Coagulate. So, yeah. Well, no, it's not coagulate. It's clot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, so I where are you on your way to, to now, the kid? Where are you on your way to now? Yeah, I'm just staying out the house and stay cool. Cause I have no air AC at the house. Hilarious! Oh, you live wow. in a in a so cave. I am why, outside. Why don't you just pay your bill? Um, because I, where I live at, we don't have. It's usually not fucking hot, so we don't have an AC conditioner or air conditioning unit. Well, our go, home. go buy a oh, fan yeah. that produces cold air. Yeah, get a little floor fan. Some fans. Um, I have that. I have that for my bedroom, but it's too motherfucking hot to be running that all goddamn day. No, you need, you need a ceiling fan in your bedroom. Nah, go, yeah, go get, go yeah. get a bucket. I have a ceiling fan. I have oh, a ceiling then, fan in my bedroom and in my living room. Then it's you. Go get a no, bucket of ice. No, it's too motherfucking hot. Go get a bucket of ice and put it in front it's of the fan. Or, Nakia, okay. or. A little, I, put, a little I have a swamp AC cooler. Okay. I have a swamp cooler that I put, mm -hmm. that I got the, the filter right now is in the freezer. So that when I get home this evening. I can put it in and put the ice so, water in it and keep it cool. So you're just going to stay in your car to, to, to the evening time? No well, I'm dashing. So I'm, see, I'm going to make some money while I'm doing it. I'm dashing. Oh, okay. So you get out of the car to go take somebody to ice cream? <laughs> yep. Yeah. Like, yeah, like the first yeah. order I got, they paid me. Huh? What's the best come up you've had so far while you've been door dashing? So, yeah. actually, what I just did now, it came in saying that it was going to pay, um, it came in saying it was going to pay $20 for me to pick up from two places uh -huh. in Oakland and take it out to Arenda, which is about 10, 11 miles away. Mm -hmm. I dropped it off. It paid me forty six fifteen. You okay. paid you what? 46 bucks. 46 15 So, it paid double. Oh, okay. That's not that, that ain't no come up. We, I'm talking uh, about Excuse me. <laughs> you ever got free food? <laughs> Not I, the food got, you in ate. the beginning, yeah. Yeah, in the beginning, I got free food. Yeah, before before the pandemic, when we started having the lead food at the door, mm -hmm. um, I came with some free food a couple times. Why? Well, you just went back and checked on it. You still there? No. No, what it. I did was <laughs> take a picture, and pick it <laughs> no, back up. I couldn't find you. I can't I've find had, you. <laughs> wait, I've had that happen to me where someone said they delivered me food when I was when I first got COVID, uh -huh. and they said they delivered my food and they did, and I was pissed off. But no, I actually um, coughed on them. I used to because in the beginning, when you would do it, you had to meet the person, uh -huh. so you had to put the timer on. So I put the timer on when I got there. You got five minutes. To contact me or to answer your door, and I'm sitting and I'm calling you and I'm texting you. So door that I see that I tried to contact you and you didn't answer, so then I took off with your food. Oh, so you didn't mm -hmm. put it down? You just hold on to it till they call you back? Yeah. Well, no. And in, in the beginning, yeah, because we didn't have to be weren't supposed to leave at the door. Oh, okay, gotcha. If, you, if they didn't come to the door, if they didn't come get their food, uh -huh. you got to either take it back to the restaurant or dispose of it. So what'd you do with it? Ate it? She ate it. She ate it on the way back to the I car. I took it with me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, either it came with me or if it was something that I knew I couldn't eat, I gave it to a homeless person. Oh, okay. uh, you didn't get that. <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't. Veggie yeah. burger, yeah, baby. I have, I have, I have, <laughs> I have food allergies that I can't eat everything, so no. What allergies do you? <laughs> the uh, kid, you got to stop. Allergies. You got to stop. You got to stop. <laughs> I'm lactose uh, intolerant, nigga. <laughs> Uh, I am lactose intolerant. Lettuce intolerant. And Vitamin. something else. Add more shit to that, nigga. Vitamin E, C, G, H. Well, I can't. I, I, well, I still eat strawberries, even though my face breaks out when I eat them sometimes. So why would you eat them? 
Mm. Well, Nakia. Because I love strawberries. They taste good. Nakia, just to give you a little information, you know, yeah. no one is allergic to anything, FYI. So what is it? Then? So how really? is it? It's so a, your body can't process I can, it. I can, I can just tell you right now, it's mm -hmm. a deficiency in your immune system, right? Mm -hmm. So all you have to do is figure out what you're lacking, what vitamin you're lacking, and then supply that vitamin, and then it won't have a chain reaction to the other the other parts of your body. So, so let me ask you a question. Then. So yeah. when I had mushrooms the other day and I broke out in hives, that was an allergic reaction. No, there's no mushrooms? such thing as an allergic reaction. What it is is your body is deficient of one thing, so you can either have too much of something or too uh, uh -huh. or not enough or something, and that causes the reaction. So, like, uh -huh. so not having about, enough dick causes a reaction right, like yeah. every, to having too a much deficiency. dick. Everything the earth produces, you're already made out of those things. All the vitamins, all the vitamins in a mushroom, especially mushrooms. Mushrooms. Yeah. Uh -huh. Like, that's, that was... Well, 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 Stevie, you know what? No, no, you answer that. about not having enough dick, huh? Wow. Oh, okay, that was wow. inappropriate. Wow. That was nasty. Nikita. Now, if I hang the phone up, the kid. That was nasty. <laughs> Or, or, you mentioned it. Or, hey, yeah, but, Nikia. Nikia, Nikia, for the people listening, that don't mean I'm not telling you to stop taking your, your medicine the doctor gave you. Okay? Yeah, don't listen to Nick on that part. Medicine so, if I get the D. What I'm, what right? I'm telling you is, is uh, next time you go get your medicine, uh -huh. maybe ask your, your doctor to do a, um, I forget what Like an do. allergy test? Uh, it's not, uh, not the allergy test, um. There's another I test. did that. There's a test you could take that shows you um what you're missing. like your uh, like your levels in, in your body. Like yeah. they, they do all the levels in your body. You can yeah. find out what you're deficient in. And that's probably what's triggering that. Like a lot of people that have eczema, mm -hmm. a lot of people know this. A lot of people have eczema, they it's, it used to call from stress. A lot of mm -hmm. skin issues are caused from stress. Mm -hmm. So you're usually not allergic to anything or you don't just what have about, eczema. Like, you're um, stressing about something and that's the response to stress. What about old? allergic to cats? And you, pollen you, and stuff. You, listen, you can't be allergic to anything on the earth because you're on the earth. You're made of the same stuff True. the earth is made from. So you can't be allergic to it. Because I did the allergy test. And, you can't and be allergic to it. it was cats. No, you're and deficient was, in something. And that's so just causing a reaction to What them. he was trying to do is he was trying to give me shots to boost yeah. up the immune system, like you're saying. Right. To get me back. Or you could just like, eat nah. whatever that is. Whatever you're lacking. I'll be okay. To boost that, that part of your system cat. up. Cat. I'm not. <laughs> Ain't no is. cat litter. Then that'll get you ready for the cat when he shows up. <laughs> the cat. And why'd you be something yeah. stupid like you eat almonds and then fix your problem? And then I'm like, like, yeah, oh, like okay, cool. then you cool. Come like, yeah, it's something stupid. Like, you know what I mean? So, uh, number to call it to is 747 268 nigga. Call in. <laughs> tell us how you might. We want to know what was your first job. What was your first job, nigga? Yeah. Uh, I think Target, maybe. I don't really count that because I only stayed there for a day. What the heck? Maybe twenty four hours. You hired, all right. I think maybe twenty four hours. Fitness. You fired. And I only worked there because I was working out there every day. And the dude was like, "Hey man, you might as well work here. Are you here?" I saw you working out. And I was like, "Hey, are you right?" Came but where you at? Nah, he was like, "You here?" I was there. I was there all day. You want to work here with us? Training. <laughs> I wasn't a gay dude, so I didn't see anything wrong with. It. And actually, it was pretty cool because <laughs> he tried to act like, like it ain't him. I'm still cool with this dude. The dude name was Dwight. Dude name was Dwight Thompson. He used to be an R&B singer. Hey. He was in a. Um, he actually his group actually came out. I got an accent. Brownstone uh -huh. was it Brownstone? No, no. Brownstone is the girls. It was something like it was something mm. like Brownstone or something like I'm gonna find out. But he's actually in a, like a legit R&B group. Mm -hmm. um, black dude, and he actually hired me because he wanted to promote black people within mm. the 24 Hour mm. Fitness. Because mm. he noticed oh, like cool. it was it wasn't no black people like in management at mm -hmm. all. Um, so I don't want to say I was the first black manager in 24 Hour Fitness. He was close. But he soon as I got the job, it like I was a front desk employee for like a day, and then literally the next day I got promoted to assistant manager, mm -hmm. and then after that I got promoted to manager. Like he bumped me up like every week. He would like, yo, look, sit down, learn how to do this. Mm -hmm. And he trained me how to be a manager. He used to take me to all the little white meetings and stuff. Mm -hmm. He'd be like, listen, man, you learn how they talk. So when you get in here, you could just, you know. You guys, so, so what are we going to do? Oh, nice. Get our numbers. How long yeah. were you there for? Uh, Maybe like two years. Oh, okay. Then Donald worked there too. Yeah. I got I got all the homies a job yeah. there. I got all the homies. Nigga, <laughs> Donald was working at twenty five yeah. fifty. I was like, I had homies they, in the daycare. Uh, Donald, what are you doing? Receptionist. What you helping with? <laughs> yeah. Cowboy. I, nigga, I had, Cowboy. Hey, now, you know how black people do. Yeah. I got loaded all the homies. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, man. I, I pulled every true. scheme scam in there. You, you could possibly imagine, that's true. man. What was Everybody your first job? Okay. My, it was Walmart. Uh, Walmart. I was a Reader? cashier oh, and a pharmacist. A I cannot, like, I cannot pharmacy. work. Pharmacy, I can't uh, work under those lights. In a pharmacy. Like the lights. Yeah. Uh, even when I was in Target for like the 24 hours I was in there, like yeah. the lights was bothering me. I'm like, I got to get I got everybody a job there too. <laughs> That's how you how, how long were you cashier? Uh, I think I was there a couple years through my high school. Wow. Yeah. So a couple years. 
My first job, I was a box boy at at Lucky Supermarket. Oh, damn. And then it was box boy, uh-huh. and then. What is a box boy? Dude? That yeah. wasn't a job when I was older. Well, world back. Yeah. Well, it was box boy because our job, my job was to bag the groceries, mm-hmm. and then when all the stuff would come in, that's where I knocked over the eggs. That's when uh-huh. all the stuff would come in. I had to unload the pallet and put the groceries in the in the warehouse. And I swung and, and hit the goddamn egg pallet. It was like slow motion. The motherfuckers. Uh, I thought dang. the worst thing about the Eggs everywhere. Dang. Worst thing about any department store is yeah. go back singing. Oh, yeah, go back. Oh, yeah. Because it had to be done. Oh. So store closed That's at awesome. wherever, what time. Oh, my and God. And that was my job. Go backs, clean ups, go clean back up on Al 4. Yeah, go back was the worst. Because yeah, you're yeah, just sitting boy. there like restock. And it's so weird because you could work there all day. Uh-huh. And for some reason, you don't know where nothing, nothing goes. You're sitting there like, what the hell? Just... Oh, no, I hate I knew, that when they were I knew at everywhere. Uh, I knew where I everything was. That was my Because uh, that's part of my job. Cause they, do you know where? And they'll be standing in the aisle. Do you know where the pickles are? Right behind yeah. me, ma'am. Oh, thank you. I, even Man, see it. I, remember I, I used at, to break dance uh, in the pharmacy. The hmm? Yeah, and Mom was a little B girl. So I had all those white people in that's the why pharmacist. You, that's why you, that's why <laughs> your I got prescription the is taking so long. Attention shoppers. Please <laughs> <laughs> come okay, back do, to the do it again. Okay, you, you're, you're at Walmart. I'd be like, okay. attention shoppers, <laughs> shoppers, attention shoppers. Please come to the pharmacy area. We have a very special surprise today. Alicia is going to break downs for you. But that's you talking. <laughs> and there was me on the <laughs> microphone. People would come A-Dot back. is going to. Put the music. And the pharmacist didn't care. He was like, go, go. <laughs> In the pharmacy. Yes. He, ain't, he ain't doing nothing. He, he ain't just yeah, he filling does. out pills and stuff for people. They were like, oh, okay. <laughs> oh, man, the days. The on days. the mic. Always, when I worked on at the, the supermarket, I never could get uh-huh. on the thing, but all I could go, we need another checker. Oh, wow. They, they would let me do that part. But oh, I never, they never, and one thing, you're right, Nick, when I mm-hmm. worked at Lucky's, it wasn't no black, it wasn't any black uh-huh. um, people on the counter, on the cash uh-huh. register. There were definitely no black managers. Uh-huh. It was mostly guys, white dudes at Lucky oh, Supermarket, which uh, mm-hmm. um, Ralph's bought out Lucky's. Mm-hmm. So we had Lucky's Boys Market. <laughs> Boys uh-huh. Market was like shopping at 7 Eleven. And, and Ralph's, well, there were a few Ralph's, but they're all in the white neighborhoods at the time. Mm-hmm. Boys Markets was all in the black neighborhoods and oh, ABC wow. Market, which is where they still got ABC went. Markets in, uh, oh, wow. in Hawaii. Oh, they do? Oh, yeah. yeah. In Hawaii, they do. All right, ABC uh-huh. Markets. I know. That's, in my, that's what my dad, my actual dad worked for. I hate it. They have no Wells Fargo's there. No. In Hawaii. Hawaii. Just one main mortgage like office, and that's it. Oh, that's it's all the Hawaiian man. banks, yeah. Well, that's Chase good. used to be a mortgage bank. Mm-hmm. Then it turned into a real bank. Yeah. Well, I guess it was a real bank. But... I'm like, oh. I hated the, when I was in Hawaii, mm-hmm. I hated the fact that all the stores were like mm-hmm. all. Um, yeah. Souvenirs and stuff, you know what I mean? Like, that I was, was like, like, who calling us? I know. <laughs> y'all turned away into the beach. Hey. Caller, what's hey, your caller. name? <laughs> you already know what it is. What it is, man. DJ, what, what up, that Hellcat? What it do, DJ? nigga? Are you laying down? I know. I don't like y'all it. Relax today. Yeah. Get your feet out the air, man. I know you off of work, nigga. You're down. Yeah. You're down. Yeah. yeah, I ain't at work. <laughs> you ain't in the warehouse, nigga. That, he in the bathroom motherfucker. with his iPad. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, DJ? What was your first job? What's the deal? Uh, Circuit City. Where'd you sleep in late Circuit today? City? <laughs> oh, you said where? <laughs> Yeah, Circuit yeah. City. Circuit City was my first oh, job. Man, I, I love yeah. Circuit City. They always had the open box. Mm-hmm. Hey, I catch them slipping. Wasn't it a big battery but look, in the building? So no. I was supposed to be a... Uh, no. Nah. I was supposed to be a... Uh, I was supposed to be something else, but I, I was in there getting paid. Uh, Uh-oh. Nah. I was, I was lost prevention. Uh-huh. Lost prevention? But they... they, they oh, yeah, I was lost for mention. No, I wasn't. Oh, you looking at yeah, cameras like, all day. Yeah, you looking at the yeah, cameras. I, at to come your backpack. I, I had the keys. I had to open the store. I had to close the store. Like, And I was in high school at the time. Mind you, I'm only 16. So they, this is where minimum wage is like six fifty or something like that. So they paid me $10 an hour. And they was paying them other dudes. Like, it was grown men and they were making $7, seven dollars seven fifty. So I didn't know that you're not supposed to tell Circuit people who, how much money you make. Yeah. So people, they was always asking me, hey, how much you make? And I was like, shit, I'm making that little team. I'm making that like 10. Man, that whole place was hating me. A manager hey, had to come up to DJ. me like, hey, dude, like you can't be selling people your business. DJ, yeah. remember how y'all used to have that sale? What, what was it called for Christmas? 
oh, and everybody yeah. was standing in line Circus that night, stuff. the night before, mm-hmm. or or wherever that. It was like the Black Friday. Black Friday. Yeah. So I usually never do yeah. that shit. Uh-huh. But this one time, I said I'm gonna go to because everybody kept saying, "Nigga, I got a big, I got a TV for ten dollars." I'm like, "Nigga, fuck out of here." So I stood in fucking line at Circus City. Uh-huh. Got it, and I'm talking. About, I'm, I'm like cool, a cool yeah. little spot. I get in there and what nothing, what nothing really on sale. It was pretty much the same they price. Cause all the employees take them. Oh, is that what it is? Nah, right, we, nah, they, Walmart, they, they did. Nah, you. <laughs> no, no. I used to work at Walmart too, but no, it, you can't. You can't do that because they won't even. Does the Black City. Friday stuff? They never let the employees get it. Well, guess what oh. I'm saying. Oh. I, I didn't really get no hell of a sales when I stood in line, and I never did it again. No, I. Mm-hmm. I think you just didn't have a good spot. I think you, you thought you had a good spot in line, but you really didn't. <laughs> I was too far had, back. You, bought it all. you gotta be in the yeah, front. Yeah, you was too far back, Clay. Yeah. You back know what I end up getting? You used to have to fight over there. I end up buying like about six spools of those uh, blank DVDs uh-huh. that you could put uh, that you yeah. could put stuff on. Uh-huh. So I ended up buying like yeah. six of those for like two dollars, and that was the only. When simple. they when they first started mm-hmm. that Black Friday stuff, man, people used to be in there fighting. Shooting oh yeah, yeah. oh yeah, they be fighting. Oh, or, or the, oh no, no, the the, the, the the niggas gonna rob you. Be out in the parking lot after you just stood in line in the front, but, catch you slipping. But this is something. This is something I can tell you about about Black Friday sales. The products are totally different. What like, do you mean? A Black Friday TV. A Black Friday TV is made specifically for Black Friday. Mm. It's not like an average, regular, everyday TV that they got on sale. You know what I'm saying? It's a total different batch. And Didn't it might not last you that long. Didn't know that. Mm. Yeah. Didn't know that. Like, everybody, like, so we got these, uh, makes sense. We, me and my family, everybody in my family, we bought these 70, 65 inch TV Black mm-hmm. Friday. I'm the only one still got that TV. Everybody else's TV don't work no more. From Circus City? And they had to replace it already. No, from, from uh, Walmart. This is oh. recent. This oh. is like two, oh, okay. three years ago. We all got, got a TV for back years. <laughs> See, he still got it. Oh, oh, wow. That motherfucker got a big back on it. Yeah, it's huge. You got Nobody a big back. Get it outside. <laughs> oh, still man. got a big hey, back. Hey, Speedy. Yeah. Speedy, I want to ask you a question. <laughs> you 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 ever heard of Craig Munson? Craig Marker? No, Craig Munson. M U N S O N. No, it doesn't ring a bell. Who is it? <laughs> oh. Craig Munson is a, is a dude from the east side of L.A. So, like, mm-hmm. back in your era, like, everybody yeah, knew about this dude <laughs> in L.A. Not nah, for real. Like, all of L.A. Okay, why would, okay tell me why would you think I would know about what he do or does he play ball? or Because he, he's partially responsible uh, for for the Crips starting. So, he, he, he was the dude I thought that, that was uh, Raymond Washington. I thought that yeah, was yeah. – uh, Let me explain it to you, though. So, so, the reason why Raymond Washington started the Crips is because mm-hmm. – Craig Munson wouldn't let Raymond Washington into the avenue, so Raymond Washington started his own game. Uh-huh. But Craig Munson is one of the best bodybuilders ever. Like, if you look mm-hmm. this dude up and see how swole he was, he was crazy. Like, he was killing Arnold. He was killing all Wait of Wait a minute. It was two dudes. Dude. Okay, so there was, there was two guys when I was growing up. They would come to all the concerts. They be all because they, they used to wear the overalls when niggas were wearing overalls. And they, yeah, they would kill out. Yeah, and that was the character that Fox yeah. played. Uh, what's his name? Um, Tookie. Tookie. Tookie and Jamel. And, and Jaleel. It was a big light skinned nigga. And Jamel Bond. So I, yeah. that's why. So I never heard of the other guy, but I knew those two dudes because they would be at every single well, concert with no. with greased up, yeah. and all the bitches be going crazy, and they just be walking yeah. around with mm-hmm. their fucking shirt off the whole goddamn concert. But, but who those two dudes used to look up to? That's the dude that they got that from. They used to look up to him. He the he the OG. He before See, I didn't know that. He's still alive. He like in he like in his seventies. But if you look him up, yeah. So he older, way older than me. Yeah, this dude, yeah. He had like twenty. Yeah, he was born in like nineteen fifty. He was like fifty two. But um, <laughs> he had the dude, dude had twenty four inch arms. Uh huh. Like he he would hit five hundred pounds ten times at Venice Beach. What? Like and they. And they sure know a lot about a dude. Nah, I know a lot about body business. Nah, dude. okay, you know a okay. lot about dudes that he, lift weights. That's still not man, a good look. Arnold, like Ar- Arnold wouldn't. Arnold and Tookie, that they wouldn't take pictures with this dude because he was uh-huh. way bigger than him, way better than him. Yeah. So like, so this like that was made when I was talking about the fitness, like hiking and stuff in the gym and stuff. Yeah, like I, that. Like, I, yeah, his name I'm never came up. Look at this dude. His his name never came. I, I, like I said, I grew up on 88th and Normandy, so. Yeah. 
Yeah, he was he's from the east side, but a lot of them dudes like I never went on the dudes that you named, they mm-hmm. they looked up to this dude. You know what I'm saying? Like you, you never heard of the avenues? Yep, no know, know about the avenue. Second half, third half. Yeah, he didn't No, no, on the east side it was a game called the Avenue. So he was like the beating of them. But him and all his brothers, yeah, they was on super swole, like natural too. In the beginning they were all natural dudes, bigger than everybody. Well, they it know. would be like two hundred and seventy two pounds. All right, DJ. Enough of the game bag right, report, man. nigga. Why we needed that? Yeah, you over here giving dude <laughs> measurements and shit. DJ. His arms, his his arms, arms is like 29 <laughs> inches, 0. 0.5. Like, his fingers <laughs> about this long. Like, what about a dude? Dude, you got to calm hey, down, DJ. DJ. <laughs> Next DJ. night, don't call in with dude specs. And why you know so much about bodybuilding and you out of shape? Nigga? What <laughs> <laughs> Built like a big back. Oh, you start DJ. watching the bodybuilding and do something. Like, that was just Put the the Twinkie down. I'm sorry. The, the dip, Twinkie the and dip the chocolate milk. Twinkie in chocolate milk. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's Twinkie is a chocolate milk. You yeah. still had everybody beat with that yeah. one. Yeah. That was when I was a kid. <laughs> Did it fall apart? No. In stayed? my mouth? <laughs> no. So I started, never say it yeah, like that. I Don't ever say it like that. No, you didn't dip it. That was all brown. <laughs> with that white stuff in That's the middle. That's how I want it. Yeah. <laughs> it just burst in your mouth like that. You just say that. Mm. Is it hot chocolate? You ever do hot chocolate? Oh, that would have been bomb. No, you ever, you, not with the Twinkie. You ever put a Twinkie oh, in the fridge? That, you, yeah. you put a line on. <laughs> yeah. She like, oh, now, now you're carried away. <laughs> too cold, much speedy. Cold. <laughs> 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 when I was a I keep child. This again, <laughs> caller, last call. Hey, caller. For right now. Uh, what? What's okay. up, Bernie? Um, <laughs> what I heard about Black, you know what? I don't even care about Black Friday because that's some bunch of bullshit because a lot of that shit I, is over. Bert, yeah. I, I've never come up on Black Friday. I've heard about people coming up, but not me. Yeah. And a lot of that shit is over. I got money. Well, because. <laughs> I don't know how it is out. I don't know how it is out in Vegas. I don't know how it was. LA, you DJ mean? Work. Oh, did, he, no, DJ I DJ think he had the job out know. here. I think it was a job out here. out here. Yeah, it was yeah. out here. I don't know how. I don't know how it works out there, but mm-hmm. I know this. Uh, um, people get security over what goes out first. Oh, yeah, like at Walmart. I'm telling you. So you guys knew. Yeah, we we would put it to the side, and then people could exactly. give their selection. That's how I would, if I worked the Foot Locker, the same way. Couldn't, only, only time you yeah. couldn't do that is if it was a call, if it was a specific order. Specific. If somebody specific. said, "Hey, I want this. Uh-huh. I, um, I'm pre-ordering this 65 inch TV and uh-huh. whatever and whatnot." Or eighty inch or whatever and whatnot, mm-hmm. and they ordered it already. Mm-hmm. Those TVs and those things are already put to the side, and everything else is open game. Uh-huh. A lot of that shit is overstock, and then they get your ass. They talking about it's a sale. That shit is not on sale. That shit was a sale two months ago, and they couldn't sell it. So they's like, fuck it, we gonna still sell it for that price. But everybody else is stupid <laughs> to realize did, that it's overstock. And Vern, we still did you did you from the beginning? Did you, did ever, you work there? Yeah. Or are you yeah. just talking about it? No, every it's like a lot you of people the post that office, work there. <laughs> How did you know? <laughs> no, because because I have a lot of friends who used to work at Kmart. You don't uh, have a lot of friends. Uh, let's, let's, let's nip that in the bud. You got us, my nigga. <laughs> so let's narrow that down to us. Uh, Speedy, you have the phone, right? Oh yeah, yeah, I got it. So I, got, I can't say what I want to say. Can't say what you want to say. Because <laughs> I got the phone. And 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 uh, and, they, uh, and, 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 and uh, hold on, hold on. Or, and I, what's her name from Pasadena? She trying to call in. And you oh, fuck yeah. it up. What? Hello? Hello? Oh, Hello? I thought you hung up on me. I was about to be mad. All right, y'all. He was waiting for it. He was waiting for it. Well, he did now. He did now. He was, really he was waiting for it. He was like, <laughs> "This must." Oh, hey, Speedy. DJ said. DJ said he's in shape now. <laughs> DJ, send a picture. <laughs> Nigga, stop. You've been. Why he keep forgetting we we met him? You were fluffy. <laughs> you a f- fluffy dude I'll without a car. Him. Yeah. So I mean, you without his Hellcat. Without your Hellcat. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we take a quick break. We got guests in the building. Yeah. Take a quick break. Get them set up. We'll be right back. It is Roll Out Loud, Speedy, and my friend. <laughs> up in this bitch. Yeah. <laughs> Finna add another friend, punk. Yeah. <laughs>
They think all of mine's vanilla Six or seven more flavors out in Vegas Whipped weather like my kush up in the Hall of Fame uh, Caveman, break out your bowling chain I orchestrate the walk of shame Your life's plain, squat me through here like the president Royal room, he gotta tell the hoes what hoes tell them in. You never been, you out here regular Ain't got one heckler, I bought consecutive As long as they got neck to get Salute you ever see me, I'm a vet CD full of crack, easy with the grills Click clack Somebody called and said the rap game needs it. They talk Fuck it, they talked about G still hate. Yeah, they hated on G the real way. They talked about G. This one here is for all non-believers. They talk. Fuck it, they talked about G still hate. Yeah, they hated on G the real way. You yeah. know they talked about G. Fish scale, pay the bills. I ain't never been broke. Harm ya, Adrian Broner on the ropes. I'm still at that Mickey D's off Atlantic. My BK niggas, man, I feed them hammers. My connect only speaks Spanish. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, four bricks, then vanish. Jump in the Martin Vanguish. Down on Sterling, think he a slave master. Turn my Clippers jersey inside out. Feed niggas with long spoons running their mouth. Godfather to the head, baseball bat. Mike Trout, your legs. Overseas pussy, y'all loving thoughts. Been around the world, crime scene in the parking lot. Somebody called and said the rap game needs them. They talk. Fuck it, they talked about G. Still hate. Yeah, they hate it on G. The real way. They talked about G. This one here is for all non believers. They talk. Fuck it, they talked about G. Still hate. Yeah, they hate it on G. The real way. You know, they talked about G. My room ball freezy. Dope on the TV. Ecstasy, especially out the GT. DJ 007. 